SVRP, you're probably wondering, who is this? Well, this is a character which you may remember from Indiana. This is Christopher Carter. He's back, and I'm going to bring him back to SVRP. I may uh, join a lawn care business with him. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, or I may just do just my own towing service type deal since Gene I don't know what happened to him after Indiana and the place burnt down but basically uh, I'm bringing him back I'm gonna probably just do like small repairs from his garage or wherever I'm gonna have this person live um, and whatnot or work at you know but right now we're here at his old uh, location where he art Pete and worked um, where he worked with a bunch of people, one one felon named Arden Long, who messed up some guy named Dave Forsythe's car and whatnot. Um, he got fired a long time ago, but um, I came back. Uh, I told I told him my business didn't work out, so they rehired me and whatnot. But um, instead of me doing like the small towing, um, I got my CDL and I'm gonna be doing big towing. So I got a clipboard. I got two VW buses which they say home I don't, I'm not sure why they say home I'm gonna have to call the guy here in a bit make sure he's telling me where to drop it off and that the payment went through and whatnot but then there's two uh, VW trucks which are buses but trucks I've never seen that before and then two old school VW bugs so yeah other than that um, as I say I'm not sure what I'm doing with this character um, but I'm bringing them back and this is kind of gonna be like a throwaway video, but not a throwaway video kind of like a chillaxed video um, There's gonna be a lot of like uh, Cinematics with when you're in the car and you hit the B on your controller um, There's gonna be a lot of that and just basically when I start delivering I'm gonna go quiet and put some music on for you guys and basically it's gonna give cinematic shots so you can see what SVRP kinda of looks like I'm not going over everything I went over some of the stuff and none other than you know um, um, Roxford I did some stuff in the main town and whatnot and Sandy and whatnot. I didn't really do the city yet city will be my next overview I wanna see what they're adding they've been adding more stuff I could tell you I know there's a McDonald's now um, and there's some other buildings, but if they keep on adding buildings and bringing them into the server uh, Then once more and more get released then I'll decide, you know Hey, let's go do a video and showcase the city, but as of right now um, I'm not sure where every MLO is. I'm not sure how much or many MLOs they have in the city right now They've been doing a lot of work for the server Scott Valley roleplay a nice community me and my brother has been looking and looking and looking and looking and looking and we finally found a server which was at the time Wisconsin State Roleplay and then now they just moved over here because the old owner he left and gave it to a different person but then I guess he didn't want to give the name away or it was it was like a big ordeal or whatnot you know kind of I mean from what I heard but I mean it could not have been a big ordeal I mean they wanted to keep the name but then they didn't want to keep the name and he was gonna let them but then I don't know I'm not an admin I'm not in that department I don't know but I mean it's still the same community basically and the same people just under a new name and we've been here for a while and we're trying to get people to join so if you'd like to join the link will be down in the description below I hope to see you guys in the server. You'll get to see many characters like Mickey Sticky Flowers, and you can go to Mickey Groovy's Hangout. You can get a job there. I'm, I'm, I'm hiring for some people. That way, I could do other RP for my bar, like going doing deliveries, um, talking to like vendors and whatnot. I've been talking to a few people that are admins here in the server, and they kind of want to do some more RP where they're helping kind of the businesses out, you know, type deal. Because they said, I was asked, how do I get my food and stuff I said I kind of go pick it up and there's a loco and you know and when I say locals that means you're just pretending that there's someone there and that like just like when the cops get called you sometimes you pretend that you, you there's a lady or whatever behind the bar that's kicking Mickey and Dickie out of the fucking bar by the highway and her name's fucking Deborah and she's a fucking bitch and fucking kicks his out at a time you know and then, and then the cops come and they say, where's the bartender? And we're like, I don't know. And then, I don't know, that, that local bitch Deborah fucking called. And then they know that, hey, it's not really a real person. So we still RP it out and whatnot. But yeah, so that's basically um, what I'm going to be doing here is like a bunch of like local type of, you know, work and whatnot, you know. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, so 
let's get on with this video as I say I'm not sure what I'm gonna continue to do with this guy in the future he's gonna have some type of like job where he's helping people out whether that's working out of his garage um, towing people out of his own tow company and not becoming a part of like you know the Scott Valley tow company just being him doing things that he always done his whole life out of RP which that's what I meant for him to be in Indiana he was a, a self promoted worker like he promotes his own businesses he promotes his own self and he does what he needs to do type deal you know so I mean other than that um let's get on with this video and I'm gonna call uh yeah his name's uh Mickey Sticky Flowers uh, let's see let's get my phone now. let's let's call him yeah yeah hello is this uh Mickey Sticky Flowers? I'm calling from uh, Carter Towing. Hey, hello. Hey, what's going on? Is this Gene Carter Towing? No, no, no. I just told you. This is uh Carter Towing. Oh, what happened to Gene, man? I remember you guys back in Indiana. Are you the same Carter that I think I'm talking to or you're talking about? Yeah, I was from Indiana. My place burnt down. Yeah, I showed that in the news, man. But I'm no longer back in Indiana. We, 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 we're not going to talk about that, but... Uh, what you calling me for, man? Oh well, um, you you got you got some VW buses and a bug and some VW trucks. I never seen those before, but um, I am I got an order and confirmation. Um, you paid, right? Yeah, I already paid, man. Like I, I already set everything up. My brother doesn't know anything. Like I had my buddy to Guapaco. They went and took all of his cars, man. Every single car he owns, even the muscle ones, took them all. And that was the only way I was able to get these cars to come in, man. Is I had to give all my cars, because I named all the cars Dickie had, and I named all the cars I had, man. And the, the guy that was importing them from overseas, which you got him now, so I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see him. But the guy, the guy said he wants all those cars for the trade of the two customized VW trucks, which are very rare, apparently. The two regular buses, which are homes, because I'm going to be moving out of my house and putting it for rent. Oh, you're going to be putting it for rent? I might be looking for a place to... Eh, I don't know. There's this guy uh, I've been talking to. Uh, his name's uh, Jimmy. And then there's another guy that I've been talking to. Uh, he, he uh, I mean, I think his name's Gene. Wait, that might be the guy that you were working with before. Oh, uh, do you know his last name? I can't disclose the information. I'm sorry, sir. Hey, that, that's confident information that they, they called, and I can't get that out. Oh, okay. Well, is the guy bald? No, no, I'm not, I'm not giving you any more information about those two guys. This is the guy, Jimmy. Uh, is his last name long? Because I think he burned... No, no, no. I'm not allowed to talk about that, as I told you. I told you I'm not allowed to talk about that. It's confidential, man. But... If you got my buses, I'm at uh, 296, man. Uh, Mickey's Groovy Hangout. Just uh, drop the stuff in the back, you know. And then my brother's going to be happy because I'm going to give him a call. And I'm going to tell him uh, he's going to have to find a way to get here because he's got no car anymore. But he's going to wake up see all of his fucking cars missing. And then after he sees all of his fucking cars missing, he's going to be like, what the fuck? And he's going to call me and probably fight. What the fuck, Mickey? What happened to my fucking cars, man? I'm fucking on parole. Fucking, you had weed last time. <clears throat> I mean, we're not talking about that. I mean, <laughs> you had weed? Um, no, 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 no. You didn't hear that, man. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I didn't hear that. So, you said you're at 296. Yeah, I'm at 296. But yeah, but but my brother, he's gonna be upset. But then he's gonna see these and be uh, okay. Um, I'm, I'm 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 I don't really. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm telling you, you you should care. Quit being an asshole. No, I'm not being an asshole, man. That's just, I, I got to get on with my day. I got other deliveries to do after I deliver these VWs, you know. All right, man. I'll be at 296. You better fucking come. Don't fucking steal my fucking cars, man. No, I'm not going to steal your cars. Yeah, that's what the fucking last guy said. Hey, I've been, and I stole my car. Well, I'm not that guy. Eh, I don't know who the fuck you are, so you are that guy, to my opinion. But, yeah, uh... Just drop it off at 296. I gotta go run some errands. But I'll come back. You better make sure uh, the keys are fucking in my bar, man. In the garage. I'll leave the garage unlocked. And you better put the keys in there, man. And then when you leave, you better fucking lock the garage or I'm gonna be fucking pissed, man. Alright, man. Alright. I got you. 296. In the front or back is the garage. It's in, it's in, it's in the back, not the front. Because that's a parking garage area for, like, the customers, man. 
All right, man. All right. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my truck. You better figure out how to get your fucking truck back there. I want my fucking cars, man. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'll be there. Uh, Mickey Sticky Flower. No, don't, don't, don't use my name in vain. No, I didn't use it. No, no. I, you know what? This conversation's over. Click. Man, what a fucking asshole, man. Jeez. I was just calling him. Oh, let's get on with this delivery. Fuck. I don't know what that guy's problem is. Totally, Holmes. Jesus. I know my cousin Chris Carter is gonna, gonna love this type of story when I tell him about this hippie. He's gonna probably just start laughing. Yeah, but look at this right here, ladies and gentlemen. So, don't worry about some of the tires that you may see. Some may be, like, in the air a little. This is the best I can get it on this trailer. Now, I could have used a flatbed trailer, but then it would have mean I could only carry maybe two to three of the cars. That's, uh, that's not gonna work because, well, you got the one bug, which is Mickey's, the one bug, which is Dickie's, then you got Dickie's truck right there, and then you got Mickey's truck at the top, and you got Dickie's VW home, and then you got Mickey's VW home. Now, with the VW, uh, um, homes up there, which they're being called, because that's basically where Mickey and Dickie are gonna move back into, although Mickey has a house, and Dickie's house, he may still have it, may not, I don't know how he wants to RP that, he went to jail, he, he wants to RP that, got taken away, that's on him, he could do so, but, yeah, basically, I'm moving out of my house, and as I was RPing in there, there's gonna be two people that are gonna be renting it, and it's gonna be a future neighbors video, ladies and gentlemen, so be on the lookout for that to come in the future, but, yeah, so basically, it's gonna be all these on the trailer, I'm gonna go drive down to Sandy, I'm gonna go deliver them off, and while I'm driving, I'm gonna not go super fast, I'm gonna put the cruise control on, and then I'm gonna be doing cinematic shots, and I'm gonna have music playing, and then when I get there, I'll take all the vehicles off, and then I'll switch over to Mickey, and I'm like, ah, oh, damn, he dropped them off, and whatnot, you know, and I'm like, Dickie's gonna be happy seeing all these, man, that, uh, it's gonna be amazing, but yeah, so, these are basically Mickey and Dickie's new VW uh, buses, VW trucks, and VW bugs that are in Scott Valley Roleplay, and they're different from the Indiana versions. Now, if I could have any different version of any of these right here, I would say get rid of the bugs. There's a few things I don't like about the bugs, and I'll state that right now. Is one, you can't roll the windows down, but you can roll the back windows down, which is weird. So you see where the door is, and then it's got the line where you would shut it and then open it so that way it knows where the door is at and then the rest of the frame is basically the back which is no door well those windows go down you can't put the front windows down so that would be weird like the windows don't roll down man but i can roll these back windows down and then like had to lean back tape they're like nah so if in the future we could replace these bugs with something better um i i would appreciate that if the server could do that but if not i still love these bugs it's just a little work around that we got to do with leaning back and if we got to go these windows don't work man because bugs old but then other than that only other thing i hate is if you look at the front right here which you could see that um, the front suspension is a little higher than the back suspension now i'm not sure if bugs are like that in real life from back in the day i haven't seen one brand new on the showroom floor I mean, I've seen many of the old school bugs in my life, but they're all old. They're all rusty. Or it's not a brand new one, so I don't know what a brand new one stock looks like. But then, other than that, that's the only other flaw that kind of irks me a little. But then, the other thing that irks me a lot is you can't change the tires. And it's stupid, in my opinion, because I want to have, like, with all the buses and the two trucks, I want the white walls. I, I think the white walls look good on the VW buses. That's just my opinion. But other than that, we're going to get on with this ride. We're going to have some music playing. And, yeah. And then we'll get back to when we get to, well, the bar. And I swap over as Mickey Sticky Flowers. So, let's get on. And let's view this beautiful world of Scott Valley RP.
Yeah, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm just in my house cooking. Tis the season to be jolly. I know my brother's gonna be upset because I got rid of all of his cars, but it, it was a deal, man. It was t two limited edition VW trucks, two limited edition the home style of the buzzes, and then none other than a VW bug in two of them. That it, so that way I got a van, he's got a van, I got a truck, he got a truck, he's got a bug, I got a bug. I know he's gonna be upset when he wakes up and sees all of his cars missing wherever he wakes up at because I'm not sure what happened to him after I got out released from jail from this two ounces and the nine millimeter. Although the nine millimeter wasn't mine, so they didn't charge me that, but it was in that van they bought. But I'm glad I got rid of that van. I actually sold it back to the guy I bought it from. I said, I don't want nothing to do with this van. You can have it back. I guess I'm better. He saw the VW. He was kind of jealous. I said, nope. I said, it's mine now. I said, you can have this piece of shit. And I went no benefactor. I went the real shit, you know? But yeah. I'm not sure when they're gonna show up. I thought I heard some noise outside. I don't know. I'm just gonna sit here and cook, you know. And fucking wait for that fucking guy to call me. I think he fucking stole my cars because he's fucking gonna, you know, he's gonna fucking go sell them. And then he's gonna say, I don't know what happened to him, man. They just never got shipped in. I went to the docks and, and uh, I got the confirmation that they're there. Uh, but we'll, we'll find out, you know. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, shit. Ring, ring, ring. I think my phone's ringing. Ring, ring, ring. Uh, let me answer a pick. Hello? Who's there? Uh, yeah. Hello. Is this, uh, Mickey Sticky Flowers? Yeah, hold on, man. I can, I can barely hear you. I got my fucking holiday mask on. Here, hold on. Let me take it off real quick. He hello? Can you hear me? Oh, hold on. My speaker phone. I, I think I broke it the last week. Yeah. Here we go. Can you hear me now? Yeah, what's going on, man? Now you see your Gene from Gina Carter Towing? Nah, man, I already told you. Gina Carter Towing's not a thing. My bad, man. I, I could have swore earlier you said that it was a thing no more. You didn't fucking steal my fucking VW cars, did you, man? I'm gonna be upset because I got rid of all my cars. My, I got no cars right now, so there better be fucking cars showing up. Oh, well, they already showed up, man. Oh, they did? Where are they? I put them in your backyard, man. Oh, you, that was the loud noise I was hearing. Oh, shit. I should have went out there and said hello to you. And I was busy. I probably would have had not time to talk. What do you mean I have time to talk? You're unloading the cars. You get to talk to me while you're unloading. No, I don't talk on the job. What do you mean you don't talk on the job? Well, I don't talk on the job. Yeah, fuck. Well, I mean... Uh, uh, maybe another time, if, uh, if I ever need your services again, but you said they're outside, right? Alright, uh, th thanks for your business, man. I mean, well, thanks for delivering them, thanks for the people that sold me for their business, but yeah, I guess thanks for your business, because your business helped me deliver them, man. My brother's going to be happy, alright? I'm going to go check him out. I'll call you later. I don't even know why I said I'm going to call him later, I don't even know the guy. Just force a habit, I guess. Oh shit! Oh shit! Look at this. Ah, they, these remind me back fucking when I was in Indiana, man. Ah oh, shit! There's two fucking bugs. Let's see. Let's see if they're legit. Oh, yeah, it's got the Volkswagen logo in there. Yeah, that's a VW bus, all right. These are fucking nice. Now, as I said, ladies and gentlemen, as I get out of the Mickey Sticky Flowers voice for here for a second, um, I love these bugs, don't get me wrong. As I said, if you look, if you look really closely, right there, where, 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 where the front's at, is lifted up. Now, if anyone, um, knows more about these bugs, um, I believe it's a 61, if I'm not mistaken, um, I'll put everything in the description below of what the years are for at least the bugs I know all of these back here from what the website said um, they're supposed to be 60 like around 61 models or the same as the bugs um, but I mean it doesn't really tell you exactly what it is it just says hey blah 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 this is blah 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 you know type deal you know um, 
So I'm not sure what exact year these uh, buses are. I'm not even sure if they make V if they ever made a VW like truck style. I mean they may have. I mean, but physically, if no one customized it and did it themselves, I'm not sure if VW did that, did anything like that. But as I say, those wheels right there, I mean, the shocks sticking up. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Maybe it's not. That's my only flaw. Um, can't change the tires. Yeah, it does got like a white wall around it, but I kind of like the white walls we could choose in the game. They look a little better in my opinion. Um, and I can make the rims yellow because I like to have everything like yellow. But now I'm getting to the point where that one right there is going to be mine. That one right there is Dickie's. Uh, the truck without the top is mine. The truck with the top is Dickie's. And then it doesn't matter which one of these we get because we can't change them. If we could, then I could say, okay, I know which one's physically mine. But the plates will be different. But as I say, the tires can't change them. That kind of is like come on man really like why can't i change the tires and then the front suspension as i say i'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that if anyone knows if a, a stock from from the shop not no customization not having it for many many years and it's just maybe the back suspension's worn out or whatever stock from the vw fucking dealership if it comes like that let me get let me know in the comment section below guys i mean i'm not 100 sure if they came like that back in the day or maybe someone that's a little older that maybe will know a little bit more about these and maybe dealt with these or been around these i mean i don't know i mean maybe someone knows about it maybe someone doesn't know about it but we'll find out if y'all want to let me know and the section down below in the comments that's where you can let me know and I'll find out. Maybe, maybe I'll learn something new. But other than that, another thing I don't like, which I'll show you real quick. Um, we go here and we go to the vehicles. We're going to set this as my personal vehicle now. I don't I don't really like this because I think it's stupid. Like, why doesn't the front windows go down? See? You try to roll them down. Nothing. Roll them up. Nothing. But then seeing the window behind. None other than... Um, like where the doors are watch bam up bam so it's like those windows work but why doesn't the fronts work like and technically in real life i mean if it was a race version of the bug yeah those would probably be ripped out and it'd be nothing there it'd be no glass but in real life yeah that's not a window and if anything it's kind of like it probably i mean i'm not 100 sure i'm not 100 percent sure as i say so if anyone knows let me know in the comment section down below but i would say if i was in the back seat sitting driving with this person that's driving this bug or the family or whatever or my friend said my friend had one of them, i would say it'd be like a minivan where it's got that little like little flap little black piece where you could pop the window open just like a tad bit you know to get a little air coming in you know but yeah, other than that, you can't roll the windows down, can't change the tires, but there's no extras. This is what the bug looks like, and you can't change it. And the handling line on this bug and all those buses in the back, even the two trucks, you know, as I said, like all the buses, the handling lines, the speed, they're shit. But as I told the um, the um one of the staff members that put it in for me, which I'm really thankful for you, Mr. Reed, um... Yeah, other than other than that, um, they're shitty. But I, as I say, I don't care, in my opinion, because the stock GTA, like VW style type bugs and buses, they're not fast. Well, the bugs kind of fast, but I mean, hey, I don't care. I'm not, as I say, I'm not trying to get away from the cops. Like I, when I ever, when I ever run from the cops, and this is just me, I tell them I want them to catch me. I want them to be able to, you know sit there have a pursuit with me and catch me i'm not gonna go fast on, even if i had a super fast vehicle that went fast and i know i can get away i'm gonna do like half throttle I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have a nice pursuit so that way if they're recording their live they can sit there have a nice little video on their end of a nice pursuit and then they'll eventually pit me or i'll flip and crash or wreck or something and then if it's a bad wreck obviously i'm gonna i'm gonna like rp that i'm hurt but if it's a small pit maneuver or my engine goes out and it wasn't a bad wreck or i just said an rp that i was hurt 
I'm getting out running. And obviously, they're going to catch me. I mean, there's probably been maybe one or two times in my history of RP that I physically on foot got away. And it was, like, a coincidence. And my heart was pounding. And I didn't think I was going to get away. And but other than that, nine times out of ten, you're getting caught. I mean, I'm not saying it's FRP, but they got... No stamina, so they could just keep running, and they don't lose stamina, so they got that. I mean, they got some admin perks that they use when they're a cop to help them out. I mean, that's understandable. I ain't gonna say about that. They're gonna catch me. I want them to catch me. That's why when he physically told me, by the way, I just wanna let you know, these speeds are shit, and handling shit, I, d I don't care. Obviously, we're gonna get in a pursuit, and we're gonna make a sharp turn, and I'm gonna be in my van, and our diggy's gonna be in his van. And one of us is going to be in the passenger seat type deal. And, you know, or vice versa, you know, or even in the bug, or the trucks. And we're going to make a sharp turn going on a chase because we're going to forget. And the thing's just going to flip. And these flip pretty badly. I tested them. So we would have to RP that we're hurt. Like we would get hurt. But, <laughs> yeah. Other than that, the only other thing I don't like about this bug, it's kind of like Mickey's uh, K5 that they do have in server is... The door is not a door. I mean, it's a door. It's there. Obviously, look. I can get in. I can close the door. But if he gets out and doesn't physically close it himself, which for some reason, it does that a lot in the server for me. I hop out of the car, and he just, or she, whoever I'm playing is, you know, just doesn't want to close the door. That irritates me. But, yeah. So, other than that, then we go to the buses now. I got a few different versions of these buses. Now, there's two buses that kind of look the same. I mean, from what Dicky said, that they do look the same. But, I mean, it's in the pack. And I was told it's totally a different spawn code. That's why it was given to me. So, it, maybe they did something differently to, like, the suspension work or engine work or things that we can't physically see type deal or whatever. I have no clue exactly, to be honest with you. It's just my my speculation type deal you know so um but we got like a few versions but this is the version i'm going to use and my brother's going to use now obviously we was i was going to use a different version like what we had in indiana there was one that had the stickers like the one that in indiana had but i figured i'm going to use this one and i've already talked um to a few of the admins and i said hey me and dicky we decided we want to have the same bus and they said that's fine they don't really care it's just i was told by one admin he would love to see me and dicky be in a different one but when i told him i want to rent my house out and i don't want to i mean i still want to live there don't get me wrong it's my house and eventually one day i might kick the people out in the future or whatever and move back in type deal i mean this is my bar on the whole building um but basically i want to rent it out so the upstairs will be a rentable place and I have two people in interest that are wanting to rent this place now. Out of RP, I physically don't know who they are just yet. But physically, in real life, I do. Because it's Jimmy Long, my other character I play as. And then my brother's other character, Gene Davis. Which is on my channel, his channel. Which you all can see. The neighbor's dispute that we have. Where it's always the he said, she said BS. You know, back and forth. So, I figured... We've been trying to find a place, an MLO, for them to bolt and. We finally, for me thinking after getting these and realizing we got a home now, then I was like, you know what, they're going to live here and I'm going to rent it to them. So, yeah, so basically these these are the buses that we're going to be driving and I told them the whole story and everything and they said that was pretty freaking amazing and they thought that was cool and they can't wait for that neighbor's team to come. Because they said that they love when we play as the neighbors. It's always he said, she said, BS. And they come and we're always cussing or arguing at each other type deal, you know. But yeah, but if you look inside, you got you got a guitar. Which I wish that was an acoustic guitar. That would make it look better. That's what Mickey usually plays, acoustic, not like electric. Although that could be acoustic. Just it doesn't look like it's an acoustic one. Because it's skinny and usually the skinny ones are electric. But got a little old school TV. It still works. Everything's in here vintage, and it works. That's why I bought it. And Dickie's going to be happy, man. But you, you got the sink. Everything works. The water, everything, man. The stove even works. 
you, you got the bed. Yeah. Don't 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 mind those magazines on on his bed. I mean, yeah, it looks like a normal magazine, but you know, like the kids back in the day. I mean, I know my kid when he was going through adolescence had like one of those like NFL magazines or wrestling magazines, but in the end, it was actually a porn magazine. I don't, I, and and the sad thing is, like the guy, he kind of I don't know. It was weird. The guy about the buses and trucks and bugs he kind of knew i don't know if he was stalking us or like our whole life but he knew me and dicky and he said ah your brother man yeah i got him yeah don't worry i got him man i'm gonna i'm gonna you know put 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 some magazines in there for him and i said what do you mean the girly ones he said yep i know him and he was like i'm gonna put a lot of weed in your car because you're the one that usually fucking carries it just like when you got your brother fucking arrested fucking a month or two ago I said, yeah, you, you, you can't know nothing about that. And then he literally said, yeah, you work at Mickey's Groovy Bar, 296. I'm like, he knows a lot, but yeah. It, it's weird, but he put a magazine in there, and he put one in my fucking van, too. And I don't even fucking want to watch that shit or even look at the magazines anymore. I had a wife. I had a kid. I experienced all that. I don't need to look at it no more. And I killed them because, well, well Dickie killed my wife, and I... <clears throat> I killed my son allegedly. <clears throat> yeah, but we're not gonna talk about that. But yeah, but yeah, this is a fucking nice, nice little van setup that we have. So, and then other than that, you got the trucks now. I'm wondering if uh, and uh, like we get more people if anyone can sit in the back. But I know if we go in the car, like say I hop in and I hit my M menu. And I go to vehicle. I could change seats using this, but if you go to your F1 and change seats, there's certain seats you can't get into. So if I go here and I swap seats, if it lets me, um, yep, there we go. You sit in the back. So there's only three seats. Okay, that's fine. And can I get out the back? Uh, let me pull it forward. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna test this out. Or, just pull it enough where I can shuffle my seat. So. Uh, you got a shuffle, dude? Yeah. Oh, there we go. I just had him. There we go. So let's see. Will back door open? Nah. I don't think a back door opens, but that's fine. Um, yeah, but other than that, um, and this is Dickie's uh, truck right here. And the one thing I like about these uh, trucks right here, if I get in. I guess I'll get in Dickie's. Because I pulled over too close. But if you go to the uh, the bug, I mean the truck versions of the VW buses. You go to the vehicles. And we go to the extras. See, this is the one that Dickie chose for his back. Because he thought that looked cool. And don't get me wrong, I don't mind that one. And I got for mine that I have registered with the plate already. I have three of the versions saved, so that way if I want to spawn to this one, I just go to my save vehicles. Pa, that one spawns. But if I want to go to the second one, which I don't know what this one is, to be honest with you, um, it's probably something that is glitched and broken and doesn't work anymore. And maybe it worked for like, uh, like a update that was like a long time ago, but then the game got updated, so it just doesn't work anymore. But usually some of the times, like, uh, like, oh wait, no, that's what that extra is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was about to say, some of the extras, it spawns the, oh, look, so that's what it is. Oh, okay. So I figured out what that is. All right, bet. I'm going to have to change my, all my vans to have that inside. But other than that, the last one, I saw this one. Now, we get this RP that those are kegs. We get RP that, like, we got, like, food in that crate and whatnot. And obviously, like, Dicky would drive one van, I would drive another van. So that'd be, like, four barrels of mine, four barrels of his, whatever the, we RP that's in the bags, whatever we RP that's in the crates. But I was thinking that when he wants to do the THC drinks, which... That's not in the menu, so we don't sell those drinks, but the THC uh, dumb bitch drinks, and then you go over to Mona's trailer, which Dickie owns still, and then we got him there. Once you leave the bar with the drink with that concealed thing that we got from Patent, 
and made and our lawyer signed off on it which you buy a beer you leave it's kind of like you know you work at a grocery store sitting and, and the delivery guy comes you got that little seal that tells you that hey the seal's broken the door has been open that's basically what it does so if you leave you broke it that's on you not on us we told you not to open it so you opened it oh THC ended up in there and you came back to our bar oh it's weird man <laughs> And, and you had a heart attack well they say if you drink more than one you can have a heart attack because apparently it's from the description that uh, people were making up an OCRP about the drink it's, it's an energy drink and it's called dumb bitch so it's an energy drink mixed with um, alcohol and apparently in real life that they were talking about is uh, um, that basically that's illegal and people are having heart attacks and dying by mixing alcohol and energy drinks so yeah that's not good at all whatsoever but yeah so we don't sell that allegedly and then Dickie's THC sandwiches I mean he's gotta be careful who he sells those to I mean I know they're limited time offers but if a fucking cop shows up man you know that it's not gonna be good cause then he's gonna be fucking baked out of his mind we can't fucking have that. No, we can't. But, yeah, let's go here. Let's get a picture of these. Uh, even though the one's on and whatnot. Who cares? And the door's open. Let's just get a picture and whatnot. Bam. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Just a little throwaway video. So, out of RP, I'm going to RP that uh, I found these... Uh, overseas and I found two for me two trucks um two buses for me two trucks for um I mean two buses one for me one for Dickie two trucks one for me one for Dickie and two bugs one for me one for Dickie now obviously if I go DV these real quick because obviously I am going to DV these because I'm going to be getting off here after this video and then I'll be editing the video and putting it up for you guys so you guys can see it whenever this drops, you know, type deal. But I'm going to delete the vehicles. And the reason why is because I'm going to go to my vehicle spawner. Save. Go to the vans. And then if we go to this, this is my secondary uh, bus that I will drive time to time. So technically, from what one admin told me he said we didn't and after speaking to other ones we don't really have to do this i was told they just think it would be better for us to be in different vans but then after i told him i want to rent this place out and i'll be living back in my van again but i still own the bar but i'm just trying to make extra money you know and it's being a bar a smart blah, blah, blah. <laughs> a smart businessman <laughs> tongue twister fuck Thick. <laughs> but yeah fucking it'll just make the rp a little bit more realistic because i'm renting it out upstairs i'm starting to hire people downstairs because one of the admins said that they would like me to add like a job application to my uh, bar which i did and people are going to get to apply here so that way during the rp scenes when people are running the bar and i'm playing as mickey I could still work at the bar, but go pick up, like, the beer, the food, and do other things at a bar. I could be there at the bar with the person working and having a good time chilling, getting to know this guy, you know, or girl. But, yeah, other than that, this is the second uh, bu bus, and basically the reason why I chose this one, well, I like one of the uh, extras that it has right there. It literally says, um, other than this is uh, old bus, <laughs> which it is and whatnot. But the stickers right there, those are the stickers that we had on the bus in Indiana, which I like. I did like that bus. It had some glitches, don't get me wrong. Every single bus has its glitches and cars and whatnot like this. That's why I never drive first person and the speedometer don't work. So, I mean, but on the outside, it's a VW bus and that's how, how I'm normally driving third person. So... I'm never really in, so you can't really see that, but, I mean, other than that, I like this bus, because this bus comes with, um, some things that remind me of the Indiana bus, and it has a lot of extras, a lot of extras, like, I could put that on top, and then I can get rid of this, so I could have a top that's open, you know, and then, fucking, then I could put that back, because I kind of like it closed, type deal, but then I could put, um, a roof rack on top 
shape of ever like delivering things or whatnot. I need to store it to the top. I could put another one of those foldable things right there. I could put the surfboards on top. I could put luggage on top. Be like all my clothes. I could put another one of those uh, foldable things. Which I'm not sure why there's multiple. It must do other things when you click on that check mark. But I'm not sure. But then obviously the stickers in the back. And the stickers on the side. Oh wait no. I'm not sure what that one was. I think it's uh. Yeah right there. It's a little air freshener. The groovy air freshener man. And Mickey Sticky Flowers. And I'm gonna start selling those man. I think we'd make some money selling the, the groovy air fresheners. Now, obviously, you can't put in every vehicle because those are, you know, modded and whatnot for these. But, yeah. But then, other than that, these are the two buses that are the same. So, you got this one. And these ones barely have any extras to put on. So, no need to go through those extras for this one because there's just no need. But, I mean, basically, this is the only good extra that they have. Other than that, it's just making the top like a sunroof one. But, I mean, from what I was told... It's another bus, it's a different spawn code, and it was given to me, so I don't know the difference. What would be the difference between this one and this one? Apparently, two different spawn codes, so obviously it's a different bus. As I say, they could have did stuff underneath, like the suspension, the engine, type deal, tires. I mean, I don't know. I mean, obviously all the tires for all my uh, bugs and buses that I can change besides the two bugs I should say not the bug the buses and trucks because I can't change the ones on the bugs they all have the GTA white wall and uh, stock like rims where like these ones right here um like the ones on the bug you can't change but these ones and some other ones are all stock GTA ones I found which I believe these ones are the only ones with the uh, bus that I mean not the bus the bug that I didn't change but these white walls don't look bad and the other white walls, especially on this one and this one, don't look bad either. Now, obviously, this one's stock still. This one is the only one that changed because I want it like a yellow rim. Um, I might change it back to these rims in the future. I don't know. Um, but for the time being, I gave myself this one. Um, and as I say, things are subject to change um, on how the preference and look of this uh, bus is going to look obviously i wish i could change stuff on the bug but i can't but i mean obviously i'm going to keep the surfboards on there and i rp'd even with ugh, tongue twister <laughs> but i rp'd even with dickie's uh 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 bus i put everything on there all the extras so that way he could take it off and put it back on so basically it's like we own all these extras they're boltable pieces that could be bolted onto the car and taken off at any time and that's why it was like a package out of RP so basically when I got these basically it came with all this now he could take what he wants on and off and technically he's already got the cars already saved I already gave them to him but out of RP Mickey and Dickie has never well, RP that they got their hands on these until today because Christopher Carter my other character dropped them off and out of RP Mickey took none other than well, all of his cars, muscle cars, whatever, and he got rid of them. And he basically, well, after he got rid of them, then he made a deal with some guy overseas to get a VW bus, a VW bug, and a VW truck. But then he was like, well, I got a brother that would be jealous if I had, like, a VW bus, truck, and a bug. He's like, well, okay, well, what does your brother have? I mentioned all the vehicles he had. So out of RP, basically, I got rid of my brother's car. So I called Tuco and Paco to track down his cars. And they got his cars. He's going to probably wake up from his house if he still even lives there. I mean, I've been in jail for like two months. And the last I remember, he was being interrogated from what I heard. Um, and when I was in jail, apparently they were interrogating him. And then I don't know what happened after that. Maybe he... Maybe he's going to court or something. I mean, he had an anger bracelet on, so I don't know really out of RP. I mean, I, I do know, but I, uh, out of RP, I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, other than that, um, as I say, this is not like a video where it's really RP. It's just me dropping them off. So, yeah, out of RP, Mickey and Dickie now own VW buses 
VW trucks and VW bugs. And other than that, ladies and gentlemen, Mickey's going to call it a day. He's going to go back inside his house before he fully moves out into the bus. He's got his Christmas gear on. Christmas is almost here. So why not have the season to be jolly? And none other than, well, by his brother. None other than a VW bus. None other than a, a VW truck. And none other than a VW um, bug, bus, and truck. Yeah, so... Other than that, I'm going to end the video here. As I say, this wasn't an RP video. This was just a chillax video of me doing something with my other character, showcasing him off because I do want to bring him to SVRP. Um, I just wasn't sure what I was going to do with him. But then when we got these bugs, um, these buses, and these trucks from Volkswagen, and now we have legit shit that we've kind of always wanted, but we had in Indiana, but then left that... Um, place because all the drama and came to Wisconsin and been there for a long time and then we came here and now we basically have what we wanted so what 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 better way to bring other than all this down than what Christopher Carter a man that was in Indiana that was starting up a tow business but didn't go anywhere because all the drama and we left so there we have it you got to see Christopher Carter you got to see some RP of him bringing the stuff back, even though it wasn't really role playing because there wasn't too many people on and what type deal, you know. But I mean, just me just RPing for myself and whatnot to give some RP out there that won't. Well, Christopher Carter, you got to see him again. You got to see the buses once again, but this time not me going over the buses, me actually delivering the buses, and then me switching to Mickey and him realizing. The buses are here, the trucks here, the fucking bu um, bugs are here, and like this is amazing. And then the RP that got rid of my cars and Dickie's cars. Now, Dickie's probably gonna be mad, ladies and gentlemen, but he's gonna be happy when he sees where I got him. And it was thanks to me talking to this officer. Now, technically, at a RP, I mean, he did know that we were getting him. We did talk because it was out of character context, but in the RP, Technically, he doesn't know that we're getting these because I didn't tell him physically as Mickey saying, Yo, hey, Dicky, guess what? I found a guy that's going to be giving us some VW buses and a truck and a fucking some trucks and uh, bugs, man. So technically, I didn't really tell him that. But out of character, he knows. Definitely. So when he wakes up in the future, he's going to be like, What the fuck happened to my cars, man? And then he's going to call me up like, Mickey, what's going on? I'm like, what happened to my cars? Like, I woke up and, like, all my cars are gone, man. And Tuco and Paco said that they, they took everything. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, well, I got to talk to you, man. Like, you, you need to find a way to get to the bar. I know you don't got a car, but you need to find a way to get to the bar. And he'll get here. And I'm like, what's going on, man? And I'm like, my cars are gone too, man. And he'll be like, oh, yeah? What the fuck? And then I'm like, I, I play it off, you know? Like, fuck, yeah, my cars got stolen. Fucking... Yeah, it's, it's 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 a rough day. The bar the bar been robbed a few times. Now we lost all of our cars. Like we're going downhill, man. But basically, it's not that we're going downhill. It's that I'm gonna be saying that. But let's go. Let's go up to my house. Let's just go smoke some weed or something. Just figure out what we're gonna do about getting getting a car, man. And as soon as we walk out the garage, bam, he's gonna run into all the bugs, all the buses, and all the trucks. So two trucks. The two buses and the two bugs. And then I'm like, yeah, this one's mine. That one's yours. This one's mine. That one's yours. And this one's mine. And that one's yours. And he's going to be really happy. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, as I say, this is a nice, chillax little video that I'm going to be putting out there just for a little context of how we got the bugs and buses and whatnot. So, yeah, the bar is doing kind of better now. I was able to swing throw some money towards these cars and get rid of all my cars and get rid of uh, my buddy Dicky Cheese's cars, my brother. So, as I say, he's going to be a little upset, but it is what it is. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, this is where it's going to end. I can't wait to see you next time when we start role-playing with these bugs, role-playing with these buses, or role-playing with the trucks when we do deliveries for my bar. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe if you're enjoying anything that you've been seeing here on my channel. Won't let me know. And other than that, 
I appreciate it all. I'm not here to make it famous, but if I do, I appreciate it. I'm just here to have fun and have fun with all my viewers and people that love to watch the videos that I do. So other than that, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, as I said. And if you subscribe, it will really help because you keep that lantern lit. So come fly with us, our fireflies, and we will light the way here at Firefly Gaming. Until next time, later, or should I say, run.